Hello, my voice is a bit better than yesterday and I don't have to re-speak every sentence 10 times because I have to cough, so maybe I'm on my way to my perfect singing voice again. What is up everybody? My voice is basically back to normal and you don't have to cringe at a dead crow ever again. Now let's get happily into this drawing lesson. We already covered two kinds of shadows and I don't want you all to get depressed when I'm always talking about darkness. So today we will bring light into the dark, literally. Because today we will take a look at bounce light. That's right, it's just light and it bounces. And to explain that, we can look at this sphere. It's well lit with ambient occlusion and has a cast shadow. Some would even say that the light has been finished. It looks pretty good, right? For those of you who actually thought this was it and the lighting was done, you're wrong. Don't you remember how I explained that light reflects in all directions when hitting a surface? Exactly. And that also happens with the light that is not directly from the light source. That's how bounce light is created. The cast shadow of the sphere in our example still has light irradiating off of it. If there wasn't any light coming from it, we would see a complete black void where the cast shadow would be. Now, since that is not the case, we can assume there is light coming from the surface the shadow is cast on, which in turn means that there is light hitting our sphere from behind. It sounds a little weird at first, but imagine being in a relatively dark room and having a window where the sun shines through. If you hold a red paper into the sun rays that go through the window, the entire room will be painted in red light. That's the bounce light that is radiating off of the red paper. And also, it's the same thing that is happening right now with our sphere. The surface our sphere is laying on is the paper and the shadow is the little bit of light that goes to the paper and and is reflected in every direction. Obviously our sphere is the dark room that is getting lit from the bounce light. Now, knowing all that, we gotta lighten up the area here just a tiny bit. And if you draw in color, the bounce light will assume the color of the surface it bounces off of. For example, shadows that we cast while being outside on a sunny day have a bluish tint because they catch the bounce light from the blue sky. Technically everything catches the bounce light of the sky but the sunlight is just too strong, so we can only see it where the sun doesn't really hit. All right, all right. Now this was one big monologue. And tomorrow we'll have our second monologue about light again. But it won't be such a hassle like bounce light or ambient occlusion, I promise. Now have some fun bouncing light and happy drawing.